So in the overnight session, we saw a spike up into 31.45, followed by a move back down to yesterday's VPOC of 28.75, where buyers stepped in yet again. Heading into the open, our intermediate term bias is bullish, and our short term bias is going to be neutral with the understanding that buyers are in control above the 25 quarter to 28.75 initial support, which we will also use as the micro bull bear. Now, yesterday marked a push to a fresh all time high, and we know that we're dealing with a bullish environment. But the reason that today's short term bias is neutral is because in order for the market to continue hitting higher, we do need to see continued upside participation from the other markets and continued broad market strength and sustained upside momentum. So yesterday marked a breakout attempt and today is going to be the real tell whether we can now sustain that breakout attempt. If buyers can hold ES above the initial support zone, then yesterday's breakout can remain intact and we can continue trading at higher prices. And again, even though the short term bias is neutral, it's with the understanding that buyers are in control above initial support. And if in real time, we're not seeing any clear signs of weakness and overall the market is holding up well, the AD is in positive territory and trending higher and the tick is spending more time above zero, then we will have time frame alignment in effect above 25 quarters, 2875, and especially above 32 half to 33 half, which marks yesterday's high as well as the previous all time high. And holding above 32 half to 33 half on broad market strength could lead to a move back up into the overnight high at 43 to 45. And then beyond 45, there is no hard resistance. Lastly, just keep in mind that this is a holiday week, so you may want to be a little bit more careful and selective with the trades that are taken today and tomorrow.